All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? today i mean like a carbonara pasta okay so if you're new to the channel please 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 subscribe to the channel go and subscribe even if you're not new if you haven't subscribed definitely go and subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video leave us some comments down below let us know things i see us try things i see us cook and interact with us because we do like to hear from you i'm gonna say grace and get started definitely follow thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our body and health and jesus name great ma'am All right, so we ate the rest of that garlic bread. I made way too much sauce. So I was like, hmm, what can I, I definitely was gonna make some sort of pasta with the sauce. And I was like, hmm, what kind of meat that I got? I ain't had nothing thawed out, but I was like, ooh, I got some bacon. Let me make like a little carbonara joint with the leftover onions and parsley that I had. So boom, here we are, okay? Mm. Yes, I use leftover parsley. Don't see all this oil on this plate because the garlic butter spread that I got, um, I put that in. So I made the pasta. This I didn't do. I should have did it cooking short because honestly, this was chef stuff that I was doing. Okay, no, but I'm, I'm you know boiled the pasta, drained the water out, uh, put it back in the pan, threw some of the garlic butter spread that I had on there. Um. Threw some minced garlic in there, put the onions and the parsley that I had, it's Italian parsley, then let that cook up and kind of let the onions cook down a little bit, but I didn't really care if they didn't. Cause I like a crunchy onion. And then I, uh, I, I um, cooked the pan fried the bacon, although when I thought about it, I was like, dang, I probably should have just cut it up. I mean, I probably would have pan fried it, fried it still, but cut it up before I cooked it, but I didn't. So I chopped the bacon up. Threw that in there and then threw the rest of the sauce in there. And it was like perfect, a perfect amount of sauce. So we're gonna see how young bud feel about it. That's the bomb to me. But the bubby definitely be hating sometimes, so. Now, I don't know if I've ever made like a carbonara type of deal before, which is pretty interesting. I think I mean I might have, but. And I was thinking that I had forgot to put bacon on my dang on shrimp and grits. I'm gonna make some shrimp and grits. I usually do, but totally forgot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just love pasta, y'all just don't even know. But maybe y'all do know. I love pasta, it's my favorite. My favorito. Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm trying to think. We've been having some really good lunchtime conversations, but I gotta think because if it's appropriate to say. I mean, although obviously this ain't a this ain't no kid channel, so I can say whatever, but it's some stuff. <laughs> How are y'all doing? What y'all? What y'all up to? I'm good. <laughs> so my sister, um, she gotta have a, she gotta get a colonoscopy next week, and uh, I'm gonna take her. And, uh, but I'm sorry because I didn't even realize she didn't consult with me before she made that appointment. But I thought my hair appointment was on, was not on the day that she has to have the procedure, but it is. So I had to reschedule and I'm like, oh, I was like, it hurt my soul to have to reschedule. Because even though somehow it got rejuvenated or whatever, like it's looking, it's like definitely flourishing or whatever right now. Like I did throw a couple little curls in it this past weekend, but like mm -hmm. just out of nowhere she giving you feel me <laughs> and uh so i too okay i was like man i desperately need this uh hair appointment at this point but and it was funny because we look at the time we like shoot what she's like what time is it and i'm like mm. It's at this time, even though she is quick, but I just don't foresee one, me making it to the hair appointment on time, and two, if I did, her being done in time for me to be having to pick up my sister. So I don't even I don't even want to put myself in that situation. So I just rescheduled. And she was like, Oh yeah, because um I'm gonna pass out and have to go back to the hospital if we if we go, if we don't go straight to her house. She's so crazy. But we had already said after mine, we was just like, cause I think she scheduled it. Cause um, the nurse was asking, mm. I don't know if she asked me the last time I had one or whatever, but then we got to, she got to asking my sister and my sister was like, yeah, I'm about to do it. Um, so she scheduled it while she was waiting on me to get down. Uh -huh. And then when everything happened, we were just like, yeah. When we gotta go for yours, we going straight. We going to the appointment and then we going straight to the house. We're taking her straight back home. I don't even know where hers is at. What side of town is on? Yeah. I'm gonna stay with her for most of the day. I ain't gonna be able to stay all day. I wonder if my mom, my mom might be home. I didn't do it last year, but I feel like I need to do a March Madness bracket. I don't even be watching the games. Y'all know I don't be watching the games, but I, I don't know why. I just became obsessed with making March Madness practice. And I make a whole bunch of them too. I always make one where Ohio State go all the way because real little about my team, okay? <laughs> about my school. <laughs> um, and what else? I be making one. 
I make one where I pick all the highest seeds in each matchup or highest ranked one. I make one where I pick all the lowest ranked seeds. Uh, I make one where I really put some thought into it, like thinking like, okay, my, and I don't really be knowing the team's current like status or whatever, or what they currently doing, but I just go off like the history of like teams that I know be good teams or whatever and do it like that. Did I ever, I probably have made, let, let it like auto make one for me or whatever. And what else? I'll probably make a couple more. <laughs> but I just cracked myself up. Girl, don't even watch. I don't even watch the games, okay? Well, not really. Now, at work, you can pay every March Madness, the beginning of every March Madness tournament, you can pay for a half a day off. To go and like watch the games or whatever at a bar or rush around, but I didn't even do it this year. I ain't did it the last couple of years, honestly. And I should have double tails. Yeah. The black folk don't be showing up for the extracurricular stuff and they be saying, oh. they're going to use every excuse not to, like, you know, promote us or whatever or say we ain't engaged and all this kind of stuff. But none of this stuff has nothing to do with the actual work that I'm doing. Okay? But. Hey, low key, low key, high key. I ain't even about the work you're doing for real. It's about everything you're doing outside the team. <laughs> what you would think? Actually, getting to work now would be the most important, but no, that ain't it. It ain't important in certain settings, like. In certain aspects, like, oh. For the black people, oh, y'all got to be experts or whatever. And y'all, whatever, you know, whatever position you in or want to apply for. But you also got to be doing all this extracurricular stuff. But for the millennials, says the folk, everybody else, they friends, they buddies, they partners. You just gotta be doing the stuff outside. It don't matter if you don't, you cannot have a clue what it is that you're supposed to be doing. There are some people that can get away with not literally consistently not knowing how to do their job. And then hand hold them and praise them and promote them. Literally not knowing anything. But let that be one of us. You gonna mess around, find yourself on a performance, uh, a pip, a performance improvement plan. That's trashy, honestly. The politics of corporate America. But what gorillas? But what did gorillas O say? He said, "I'm gonna play the game how it go." So, but all I said, I should have went to the March Madness thing. But I told you, I ain't even been reading them little emails. They they send out like a weekly communication that tell you all the stuff that's happening, all the engagement stuff. I mean, I'm on a whole lot of engagement stuff, so they gonna see me. They just not gonna see me at this thing. But I'm gonna make sure I go to the Clippers game though. Or at least I'm going to buy a ticket anyway. All right. Well, 
excuse me for that's and that's all y'all thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let us know things you see us try things you see us cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you and subscribe to the channel go ahead and subscribe hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video we'll see you in the next one